columns of Georgian tanks and troops heading for the South Ossetian capital Skinvali. They'd come to subdue a town and a region under separatist control. And for a while they claimed to have done it. But Russian armor, units of the 58th Army, were approaching from the Russian border. Sent to reinforce peacekeepers and to protect a civilian population that Russia calls its own. By day's end, the Georgians admitted that heavy Russian air support had cost them control of the town. Earlier, Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili spoke confidently of Georgia's aims and called Russia the ultimate provocateur. The Russian Federation has bombed the Georgian territory. Populated and peaceful areas have been bombed. It is nothing but a classic international aggression. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev spoke confidently too of Russia's response. Now in South Ossetia, peaceful people are dying. Women, children, old people. The majority of them are citizens of the Russian Federation. In accordance with the constitution and laws of this country, I am, as the president, obliged to defend the lives and dignity of our people, wherever they may be. Georgian troops continue to pour into Skin Valley and its surrounds. The fighting goes on, plumes of smoke rising there above the capital of South Ossetia. Georgia insists it had no choice in taking this decision to restore order so-called inside South Ossetia. But the choice it has taken is a dramatic and potentially dangerous one. Russia is watching extremely closely. Its peacekeepers on the ground have already suffered casualties and with reports of hundreds and hundreds of volunteer fighters and Russian troops potentially crossing the border from Russia, this situation could easily turn from bad to far worse. The scale of the damage was shown in footage from inside Skinvali. Civilian victims too in the nearby town of Gori. Georgia, meanwhile, says Russia's actions could bring the two countries into full-scale war. For those too afraid to leave South Ossetian villages and towns, war must surely be the only word to describe it. Jonah Hull Al Jazeera on the Georgian-South Ossetian border.